Hey, City Line viewers, great to have you with us this morning. Great to have these two as well. Please welcome Colin and Justin. My <laughs> Here in Toronto, you've been everywhere. Vancouver, you're up north at your cottage, but we got you today. You did, you got us back. We got you back. <laughs> so we're going to talk about hacking, decor hacking. So please explain. We've talked about it a little bit on the show before, but just a little refresher. Okay. Ikea, obviously, we're all familiar with, and they do some brilliant furniture buys, really, really good value, oh, yeah. but we often like to do what's called hacking, Ikea hacking, okay. which is taking a basic piece of furniture and giving it a really different look via paint, what you add to it, the layers that you build. And this video yet that we've done today, believe it or not, has virtually come in its entirety from Ikea with a little bit of Scottish fairy dust and a touch of hocus pocus. Bing. Exactly. Bing. It's all it needed because this stuff is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you're starting with good pieces to begin with, but to give it that high-end quality, all it takes sometimes is some paint and some creativity. Yeah, exactly. You know, we always say, give it a name. Yeah. You don't actually think about the look that you're trying to achieve. Now, we're calling this bleak chic. Oh, okay, like we're going that. to do a look that's really bright and breezy later on, but this yeah. is bleak chic, shades of grey, monochrome, mm. you know, with a slightly kind of steampunk antique look. Mm -hmm. And we're thinking, can you actually get that look at IKEA? Yes, you can. And you can become your own designer. I mean, take that chest, for example. This is my favourite piece of all of them. I Isn't think this is brilliant. beautiful. I just love this. Do you know, a lot of the furniture from IKEA is unfinished wood, so it paints really well. We're going to show you a bit of that in just a moment. Mm -hmm. But this is essentially a pine dresser which we've painted black. Black. And then we went to Poster Jack. Colin did some text and graphics on the computer. Ah. And we actually used words that pertain to the area where our cottage is uh, up in Halliburton. And then we printed them off and we've applied them with white copy decks glue. So I love cool. this, guys. You know, it's not expensive. Good design is all about thinking, how can I save some money? How do I make sure that the best part of my cash stays in my purse? Right. Uh, and I think all these little projects that we're going to talk about today really capitalise on that. These That's also, lovely. wait till you see how these started life shortly. Oh, really? Oh. Okay, I can't wait to see about this because this has definitely has that industrial chic going on that yeah. everybody is trying to do, but it can be very pricey. You know what, it's a weird thing, isn't it? You know, it's like a step back in time where we've gone industrial and they're using stuff that's commonplace and yet yeah. it's so expensive. It is, it really okay, is. Okay, we're going to show you how to make your own. Make your own okay. wall lights out of All gas right. pipe. That's our thing here as well. How about her? Do we have a sweater for her? This I feel like she might be a little cold. Cover <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. Modesty, for Are you okay? Sake. Like yeah. maybe a little bit <laughs> yeah, I like that. Oh, no. Don't look here, look yeah. away. Okay. And also, we're going to show you why hairspray is a really important part of any designer's kit. Okay. Yes, we are. Let's go, let's exactly. go over to oh, here. And by the way, very nice table going on over there as well. Yeah, That's well, beautiful. You know, we can touch on that as well. Now, this is actually a You're coming around okay. to this right. side. Around here. Yes, I'll be your Sweet. banner. Um, this was a bathroom mirror that we picked up from IKEA. Okay. And it was just in a brushed steel finish. Yeah. Um, uh, but we actually sprayed it paint, sprayed paint it with black paint first. Okay. Let it dry. And then we got some sandpaper. And we sanded it all around. the way around so you actually achieve this very kind of like antique oh. look. And then look at this, Brett. Can you see that? See what's happening there, guys? We're you just sand. literally achieving that. Look, you're okay. like, oh my goodness, they're scratching the mirror. Yeah. I know, I'm like, does he mean to be doing that? Yeah. So now when you wake up in the morning and you see yourself, you're sort of somewhat it's blurry well, and you look exactly. beautiful. You it's sort of like focus. soft lighting. But then you know, you, you know this, you know, okay. being a gorgeous girl, hairspray can make or break a look, okay? You know, that <laughs> hold is amazing. But we actually sprayed. How did you figure out that this was going to work like this? Because you've got no this stuff. beautiful frosted, okay. you yes. just know stuff. We just know stuff. <laughs> well, look at that, like that, you know, so you combine that kind of spray misting in there, the sanding as well, oh, and you achieve cool. that really kind of like antique yes. glass yes. look. Yeah. The good thing about this, I mean, this spray here, you can buy what's called mattifying spray in an art store, yeah. and it's about five times the price of hairspray, but essentially mattifying spray to take the gloss or sheen off anything is essentially hairspray, so oh. save your dollar guys go to the beauty store pick up a budget kind of hairspray and there you go we actually yeah. nicked this from your Spurs beauty pack Tracy bit. we did perfect now we said gas pipe lights I love 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 these again it's all about thinking about how you can take a basic product and give it a real bit of independent flair mm -hmm. these are all the parts these cost about two bucks one buck three bucks, four bucks, and they all come in this black finish or this galvanized aluminium finish. Okay. So we screwed them together in the shape that you can see there. All the details, guys, will be on the website, but screwed yeah. them together, then unified the color with black spray paint. Really, really simple. It's not a big design secret. Yeah. And then when it was dry, we took an electrical cord for a lamp pendant 
And a little fitting like this, you can pick all these pieces up in stores like Home Depot, yeah. wired it through the middle, and then, as a final coup de grace, decorating flourish, these come from the things that builders and contractors use to light up basements when they're working or light up homes that don't have electricity. They're plastic. They work beautifully. You don't even need to sand them. Yeah. We fixed that to the final piece of this mechanism with the cord inside, and then sprayed the whole thing black. And hey, presto! And what's particularly this good about this is the winner here. This is the piece, right? Yeah, it is. It's unifier. just the unifying of it all really of it is. in that black mat. It and looks amazing. What I love, if I can just dash over there just again, these actually articulate, so they're not rigid, so they're directional. Ah. I just, you know what? Twenty bucks pair piece in total bits. Very nice. Okay, so finally, my favorite piece now. Let's look at the dresser, how you did this. You know, that's the, you know, the great thing about Ikea is that they actually produce pieces like this. This is made of pine, mm -hmm. you know, and it's a beautiful piece as is, but because it's there, pure and ready for action, all you need to do is get yourself some paint, like a Benjamin Moore or a paint here. And if you want to achieve that kind of like really, really smooth finish, mm -hmm. use a foam gloss roller, okay? okay. And what you're going to do with this is you're just going to really simply apply like so, remembering that several light coats are better than one gloopy coat. So oh, take really? your time with this, okay? okay? Because you want to build this up layer by layer. Like, like, you, do, like you do this with one hand tied behind your back. <laughs> like, so easy. You can do the ironing with one hand and exactly. do your DIY with the other. So yes. did, it, did it take, do you remember how many layers it oh, took? Oh, no, exactly. Like five? No, it only took two, actually. This two? is a, a light coat which really penetrates into this wood okay. because a lot of the, the IKEA furniture mm -hmm. is really good quality but unfinished lumber. Got so it. it's very, very absorbent. And now this this is the stuff that you put yeah. on from Poster Jack, yeah. and I love the fact that it's custom. So you yeah. put the words on that made sense for you. Yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously you could you could pretend to anything that was important. You could pretend to your family, your kids. Um, we had it cut into these long shapes because we we're going to frame these for another project of our own. Nice. But the off cut this came from off cuts of another project, so yes. it's even less expensive. With white PVA copy dex glue, just simply pop them on the front and then put the handles back on. This is I one of our faves. That. No really hammer, easy. no nail just some glue people yeah. love it Colin and Justin you are awesome